each and every day, it seems like we're consuming some type of food that we typically have no idea what we're putting into our bodies. Anything from crushed up beetles for food coloring to fish bladders hiding in our drinks, here are 12 strange secrets hidden in our food. Number 12, cochineal. Do you ever wonder sometimes how our food becomes red? Things such as our favorite soft drinks, yogurts, ketchup, candy, chewing gum, and other food that has ingredients? If you notice something is pink or red that normally wouldn't naturally be pink or red, there's a very good chance it contains cochineal. These beetles are often found roaming around on cacti in South America and are collected by farmers in order to make dye. They're collected, boiled alive, put into an oven, and then crushed up. They often feast on the prickly pear fruit, which is a bright red color, which might be the reason why it's red. Cochineal has been used since the times of the Incas and the Aztecs as a dye, and it's even what they use in order to turn British redcoats actually red. It's been used throughout history, but in modern times, it'll be labeled as natural coloring, or carmine, in order to not freak people out. The truth is though, most people will unknowingly eat hundreds of crushed up bugs because of this. Number 11, unlabeled ingredients. It might bring you ease of mind to see a food package with the ingredients on it so you know exactly what you're eating. The only problem is, however, for some products, there might not even be enough room on the box to list them all. Studies show that many foods out there routinely contain traces of pesticides even after they're cooked. Other foods which are packaged in cardboard often contain tiny bits of cardboard and chemicals used to produce it. Same thing goes with plastic. In some cases, in places like the UK, horse meat was actually found to be added to beef to unknowing customers. You should really start to realize that it's not illegal to sell a product with an unlabeled hazardous chemical, so watch out. Number 10, Castorium. Are you eating a bowl of vanilla ice cream right now? Or possibly sipping on some raspberry iced tea or even a strawberry milkshake? Sounds tasty, right? Well, maybe not so much after we tell you a little secret. Not only do those things already contain the crushed up beetle we mentioned earlier, they probably contain some castorium, which is basically an anal gland found in beavers. Castorium is a yellowish secretion from the beaver, which is often mixed with their urine in order for them to mark their territory. Someone randomly decided to give it a taste and they found out that it kind of tastes like strawberries and raspberries. Yum. The government of Ontario, Canada allows the harvest of the scent glands and it's been recognized as a safe additive. You might see some labels on food packaging calling it natural flavoring. Yes, it is indeed natural, but it's pretty gross. This seems to be a better way of marketing the product than actually calling it beaver butt juice. Oh yeah, and they're also used in perfume too, by the way. Number 9. Frozen Foods How long can frozen foods stay good for? Many people are asking this question, and there seems to be a lot of mystery surrounding it. Frozen food doesn't require any preservatives because freezing the food keeps it edible for a long period of time. However, when they reach these drastically low temperatures, often under zero degrees Fahrenheit, they begin to lose their flavor. Many items such as fish, chicken, or beef can be frozen for over a year before you put them in the microwave. Frozen foods can often be labeled as fresh, but in reality, the food company just froze it while it was fresh and then sells it when demand reaches the requirement. Most fruits and veggies you don't have to worry about too much. Number eight, bananas. Many of us don't always realize where our food comes from. Bananas often comes from tropical regions in South America where many bizarre insects roam around. It seems like bananas in particular have a reputation of containing some pretty frightening things like this scorpion. This creepy crawler was spotted by a sales assistant at a grocery store that was sealed in a packet of bananas in Phoenix 2014. The scorpion must have been indigenous to Costa Rica where the shipment of bananas came from. A tarantula was discovered in a shipment of bananas in the UK. Although some countries consider the tarantula a delicacy, I don't believe the UK is one of them. This spider here was also discovered in bananas and it was actually adopted by a supermarket employee. Although it's not extremely big, it is a scary looking thing and not something you want to go shopping for. Number 7. Pink Slime Ever remember seeing this photo of what's known as pink slime? If you live in the US, it's very possible you could have eaten it. Pink slime was a meat-based product that McDonald's was using in order to reduce the overall fat content of its beef. They also used it to make the meat as cheap as possible. This is basically a mash of beef trimmings from various locations of the cow that is spun at a high speed to reduce fat levels. 
At the end of the process, the beef contains a high amount of bacteria, partially due to the regions of the beef. They then start to add a chemical known as ammonium hydroxide. This is basically a gaseous form of ammonia, and this is what turns it pink. This substance has been banned in Canada and the European Union, and eventually, in 2012, it was banned in the US. But anything that contains 15% of this slime can be labeled as ground beef, so watch out. Number 6. Fishy Beer this product won't stop you from drinking beer or anything, but you should probably be aware that there are quite a few beers out there that contain a strange gelatinous substance known as isinglass. This chemical is actually made from fish bladder. Recently, in 2017, Guinness removed fish bladder from their drinks, but that doesn't mean it's not still out there. In general, the isinglass will make the beer look clearer, and it won't really serve much purpose other than to make it more visually pleasing. Vegans and vegetarians feel as though it should be removed from all beer, and they at least want companies to label on their packaging if it contains this fishy ingredient. Number 5. GMO Labels we understand that many agricultural products have been genetically modified throughout history, but with modern advancements, we have to begin to wonder what exactly our food is becoming. Most countries are legally required to inform people that their food contains genetically modified ingredients, except for the USA and Canada. Most of the European Union, like France, Germany, Italy, Hungary, Greece, Poland, and Czech Republic, have some type of complete ban on GMO foods. Even Russia, a country that has been scrutinized for political decisions, has enacted bans on cultivation and sales of GMO. So there are a total of 64 countries that have either banned or are required to label GMOs. Why isn't the USA one of them? Some claim that the reason the US refuses to change is because so many corporate companies are using genetically modified food, such as Monsanto. They seem to be worried that it might cripple their business. This has also led to bans of US imported food. The true reason they don't tell us still remains a mystery. Number 4. Unwanted Ingredients Many of us probably don't want to think about it, but the FDA does allow a certain amount of strange ingredients. Our food is grown outside, and with mass production in full effect, it's becoming harder and harder to get rid of this gross stuff that gets into our food. Things like mold, bugs, maggots get into the mix, and there's really not much we can do about it. The FDA in the US doesn't actually mind if things like maggots get caught in our canned food, as long as it doesn't reach a certain percentage. In canned mushrooms, they allow approximately 20 maggots per 100 grams of sliced mushrooms. Gross! In the grand scheme of things, bugs are only going to add more protein, right? The FDA claims that something such as a grasshopper leg in your jar of peanut butter is still okay. Other food standards around the world require that the food cannot be contaminated at all. Number 3. Carbon Monoxide in Meat Packaging Carbon monoxide is a silent criminal which can be a common type of air poisoning found at one's home and has led to many deaths. It's also a popular method of suicide by letting the car run in a closed space. This toxic gas keeps oxygen from reaching the brain. So why the heck is this stuff allowed in our meat packaging? In order to make the meat look more red and fresher, carbon monoxide is put in those meat containers you find at the grocery store. Although it's widely believed that eating the meat is still safe, it can be deceptive to customers who can't really tell if the meat is spoiled or not. So maybe that red meat you're eating isn't really supposed to be that red after all. In one study, a slab of beef still appeared to look fresh even after being two years old. That's pretty crazy. This can pose some serious problems, especially if a company is trying to save money and if they don't want to throw something out. Other meat companies claim that you shouldn't be looking at the color of the meat, but actually at its texture and smell instead. Number 2. Pringle Secrets What if we were to tell you that Pringles weren't actually potato chips at all? In fact, did you know that Pringles aren't even made from potatoes? Is your mind completely blown yet? They're actually made of rice, corn, and wheat. While most chips are made from cutting the potato in thin slices and then deep frying them, Pringles, on the other hand, take non-potato ingredients and turn them into a dough. They are then cut into shapes and pressed into a mold that we're familiar with. The Pringles are then moved through a mysterious oil, then are dried and flavored. This process requires very high-tech machinery that has to be custom-built just for Pringles. Any nutritional value whatsoever is completely destroyed, and there's even a new chemical formed called acrylamide. This chemical is actually found quite commonly in food that are heated with oil. So basically, it's a lot of processing and very little actual food. Number 1. Sugar isn't everything. Sugar is everywhere. It's in your fruit. It's in your soft drinks. 
It can be added to meat, barbecue sauce. It can even be found in your blood. It's evolved to what's known as high fructose corn syrup, which has been seriously linked to diabetes and weight gain. This corn syrup can be found in many items, such as fruit juice, salad dressings, granola bars, and bread. Sugar can also now be given different names just to confuse you. Things such as evaporated cane juice, dextrose, agave nectar, cane crystals, and the list just goes on.